Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve this problem 8 from chapter 4 of Hate's book. So the question is with the assistance of nodal analysis, determine V1 minus V2 in the circuit shown in the figure 4.38. Okay, we are asked to find out V1 minus V2. So now let's find out V1 and V2. But first, let's assume the direction of the current. For the branch with current source we just follow the arrow and for this one I will assume this is going down this is also going down and this is going right okay now let's do KCL at V1 and then let's do KCL at V2 but first let's do KCL at V1 let's do KCL at V1 how to do it Remember that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. The only currents that goes in is this one, which is 2 ampere. And that will equal to this current here, which is V1 minus 0 here, divided by this resistor is in series, so we can just add them up. So 5 plus and then this current is also going out, but that current is V1 minus V2 divided by the resistance between them, which is 1. Okay, now let's do some little math. So I will have 2, V1 minus 0 will be V1, and 5 plus 4 will be 9. And this will be V1 minus V2 divided by 1 is just V1 minus V2. Okay, maybe let's multiply both sides by 9 to get rid of this. So, I will have 18. And then that will equal to V1 plus 9V1 minus 9V2. And this part will be 10V1. This part will still minus 9V2. And this 18. Okay. What happened? Yeah, 18. So let's have this as equation number one. And now let's do another KCL but at not 2. V2. KCL at V2. And Again, that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. There are two currents that goes in here and here. We'll, let's start from this current first. That current will be V1 minus V2 divided by the resistance between them, which is 1. And that this current here, that will be 15. And then that will equal to this current here. That will be V2 minus 0 divided by 2. Okay, now let's do simple algebra again. Okay? So I will have V1 minus V2 here. And then plus 15. And that will equal to V2 minus 0 will be V2 divided by 2. That will be V2. So let's maybe multiply both sides by 2. So what can we get from here? I will get 2V1 minus 2V2. And then plus 30. That will equal 2V2. Okay, now let's move out this V2 here and this plus 30 to the right hand side. So I'll have 2V1 minus 3V2. And then that will equal to minus 30. So let's have this as equation number 2. And we can write this as a matrix. So I will have 10, 10 from here. And then minus 9. And then 2. And then minus 3. That multiplied by V1 and V2. So V1 and V2. And that will equal to 18 and minus 30. Okay. Now let's do calculator for our proofs. 
where is my calculator here it is let's set up and use equation mode and we take the number here let's just plug the matrix in i will have 10 minus 9 and then 18 and then 2 and then minus 3 and then minus 30 So here I will get the value of V1, which is X or 27. So we'll have V1 is equal to 27 volt. And what is V2? Let's see in the calculator. V2 is 28. 28 volt. And remember, we are asked about V1 minus V2. We can just subtract this out. So I will have V1 minus V2 will be 27 minus 28. That will be minus 1. And the unit will be 4. And this is the final answer of this question. Hopefully, I did not make any mistakes. Let me know in the comments if I did. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.